If you're an Aries, a Taurus, Cancer, or a Gemini, this is your new moon horoscope. I really wanted to get out of bed to film this, but I just had surgery and I can get up, so it's gonna be like we're on FaceTime. Aries, this is occurring in your seventh house of money and resources. This is really good and positive for you guys. Because you just had like a Mercury retrograde here and J Jupiter coming in here, everything that you're manifesting, especially money-wise, is going to finally start to come true. You're going to finally start to see that. So being able to buy something you've been really wanting to buy on your bucket list or even changing your spending habits or coming into money. Taurus, this new moon is happening in your first house. So the house of the self, appearance, stuff like that. Maybe you're, you really want to make a change during this time. That would be good if you're just like, if you've been itching to just change your hair, do different makeup, get new clothes, and this would be the perfect time to do that. You might find like your dream look. Or overall, like more on the inside if you've wanted to maybe just change courses, do things that you haven't really been feeling what you've been currently doing. You kind of want to change that up. This is all about yourself. The spotlight is on you right now. So using this new moon to manifest what you want and what could be really beneficial for you. Gemini, this is occurring in your 12th house, the house of like the hidden and secret. So a lot of you guys have been putting in a lot of work behind the scenes, maybe taking a step away from like friends, family, kind of just feeling like you need to be to yourself. You need to be a little bit of a hermit. I would encourage you guys to take that time to create new ideas and manifest new things for yourself. You do not even have to like minimize it into specific things. You can really use this new moon to manifest anything you want. Cancer, yeah, so this is occurring in your 11th house of friends, socializing, goals, events. I would encourage you to go out and socialize a little bit. The energy that they're providing you is going to make you feel so good but at the same time you're gonna have to reach out to them i know that can be a little bit hard for cancers you guys feel like you're bothering people a lot of the time even though you're not but just reaching out being like hey how are you like i really like to see you hanging out with people it's gonna feel so good for you as always if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you're a leo virgo libra or scorpio this is how the new moon in taurus is gonna affect you leo this is occurring in your 10th house of career i've talked a lot about how this year as a whole is really gonna propel your career or have you thinking about changing career paths overall though this new moon is really gonna help with manifesting the career that you want i am gonna say that these things do take time so you may be feeling a little bit impatient because a lot of you guys are really putting in the work but by the end of this year it is gonna be so worth it virgo this is occurring in your ninth house and taurus being a sister means that this is going to be beneficial for you so the ninth house has to do with travel opening up your mind philosophies so this new moon is going to really open those doors up so that you can travel more or if you want to get into an education or if you want to take on a mentorship libra this is occurring in your eighth house which has a lot to do with, with intimacy and finance um so some of you guys could be coming into money not directly, but through like family or a partner, realizing that you want to try things different in an intimacy setting or manner. Or even if you want to manifest money during this time, this would be really good for you guys. Scorpio, this is occurring in your seventh house, which has a lot to do with romantic relationships. Because this is occurring in Taurus, this could be intense for you, but that's okay because you guys have been going through it anyway. So I feel like a lot of you guys are used to this like chaotic energy. And honestly, you guys are so strong for going through all this stuff right now. Like props to you. You're going to have so much growth by the end of this year. So the new moon with dating and relationships, if you have stopped a relationship or broken up with someone, this could be just the recognizing that you're starting new, going on new dates, meeting new people. If you're currently in a relationship, maybe switching things up, trying new things with that partner. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you're a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, or Pisces, this is how the new moon in Taurus is going to affect you. Sagittarius, this is occurring in your sixth house of health and routine. So if you want to start a new routine, that's great. Keeping track of your health right now is also something that I would highly encourage. Make sure that you're feeling good physically, mentally. If you need to make a doctor's appointment, if you want to change your diet, this is a good time to do that. This is a little bit of a complicated transit. So some of you guys can be feeling sick, just like you just don't want to deal with anything. Starting new and healthy habits is really going to benefit you. 
Capricorn, this is occurring in your fifth house. I've been saying this a lot for you guys, like love, creativity, doing things that make you feel good, doing things you're passionate about. I want a lot of my Capricorns to get out of their comfort zone and just do things that they wouldn't normally do. Be creative, date, things of that nature. Aquarius, this is occurring in your fourth house, which has to do with your home, your family life. Maybe you're expanding your home, moving. It just has to do with newness within the home this could be as simple as like cleaning up or like moving across the country right now you're kind of just planning and like preparing yourself for that last but not least pisces this is occurring in your third house which has to do with education basic communication trans trans transportation wow so doing things like signing up for classes trying a new language getting a new car or form of transportation planning a trip the new moons are all about new beginnings, new opportunities. So take this in whatever sector it is in your chart and kind of run with it. Even if it is something that I didn't discuss and you're like, oh, she didn't talk about my career, but I really want to try something new in my career. Go for it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below.